your original hometown dealer, Saida, Trudeau, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, and Ram. We received a call um, late last night for a reported structure fire, again with at least one or two additional RPs, indicating a working fire in a manufactured dwelling. The status of the occupant was unknown at the time of the report. Crews responding once again found an orange glow in the sky in the area of the reported fire. As we arrived, we found heavy fire conditions through a self-vented roof surface, and uh, the crews immediately went into action, stretched multiple hand lines with the intent that this was a rescue. As we approached the front of the house, we found the occupant had safely egressed out of the building, however, was in the process of trying to collect several dogs that were let loose from kennels within that, the house itself. Um, one dog was unaccounted for, at least this morning, and um, we did medically assess the occupant, who ended up being okay and didn't refuse medical transport. We're investigating the fire. The fire is thought to be accidental in nature. Uh, this was a uh, an interesting structure. It was I had its dynamics. It was a double wide with an attached single wide, forming a larger square footage structure. Uh, different vintages and different ages on those types of structures, and uh, it added to the dynamics. We're also investigating a possibility of a re-roof, which uh, means it wasn't replaced, but it was added to which caused additional heat loads in the interior, as well as an overabundance of personal property stored within. Both structures that were attached sustained significant heat and fire damage. Uh, both of the, this fire, as well as the other fires we experienced over the weekend, were all occurred in areas without hydrants. And so we had to bring the water with us via our water tenders and then establish water supplies off-site. We requested Red Cross assistance last evening, and neighbors were more than willing to help uh, this occupant uh, throughout the overnight hours.